two, one. Hey! This is Azo Studios Podcast. I'm Jonathan. I'm Troy. Yes, and we're unbelievably late. Five weeks, man. Yeah, like five weeks. But we have two excuses. One, uh, Troy has holes in his feet because of Lot. surgery. Nasty holes. Yeah. And... I have, uh, crap. Uh, okay, we have one excuse. Troy has holes in his feet. Okay, so, yeah, he couldn't get upstairs to get to the computer room. He had to be, like, <laughs> propped up on his couch. So, uh, that's our excuse. And we missed a lot of news. And, uh... A lot. Yeah, a lot. Like, we'll just... A whole lot. We'll do a recap. Uh, Daft Punk, all the ads. It's awesome. The Saturday Night Live ads. Also... We missed uh, the Psych 100th episode. Also, the whole thing where I was going to post up my thing on Bandcamp, my music. We'll get into all that later, though. Yes. So, anyway. First, we're going to go how we usually do it. Our stuff, what we're working on, games, movies, and music. And then, story time with John and Troy. Except today we didn't yes. plan one, so we're going to try to oh, improvise. <laughs> Oh, man, we didn't plan one. Crap. I think I'm on it all the way. Okay. Sounds good. So, anyway. We don't, we don't make these stories up, by the way. Yeah, we're not making them up, like, making them up on the spot. We're, we're trying to think of one that has happened to us. Okay. Uh, True story. Wait, did we do Kate and Nate? Uh, I think we mentioned it. I think we should just do it anyways. Anyways, let's continue. Okay. Uh, well, it's a podcast. We don't have to rush or anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. And plus, since it's like a partnership, like, and we really basically have an endless amount of time. Whoa! Let's just do a 24-hour podcast. <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. No, never. Anyways, get, like, so... If I ever get a million subscribers, yes, but... Yeah. Oh, wait! We haven't gone over your news that you were partnered. Oh, yeah, I'm partnered. Yeah! Talk about it. Uh, okay, so... I was watching this one dude's video, and he was doing a live stream, and I was like, wait, how's he doing a live stream? He's not partnered. And I asked Pivikid, and Pivikid was like, he's actually partnered with this thing called Awesomeness TV. They accept lower guys, I guess, like, around with 100 subscribers and crap. I was like, oh, I should partner up with them. And he was like, no, there's no reason to get a partner. I partnered up with them anyways, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I sent them an application, got partnered, and now I, I'm a partner. Yes, it's awesome. It is. Uh, I got a burp. Keep on Top talking. Of that, I finished the first scene of Jake and Jack. I need Jonathan and Jake to finish the lines for the next scene. And so I can start working on it again. And I'm working on another stick world. Nice. Yes. I can't burp. Talk about Force something it. else. I'm trying to burp. Uh, <coughs> Jonathan's new EP is going to be Oh, nice. I'm supposed to talk about that. <laughs> okay, forget the burp. Anyways. So I finished my making my EP. Uh, it's off being mixed and mastered right now by my friend The Frenzy. You can look him up on SoundCloud and Facebook. Uh, he's he's uh, he's really good at mixing and mastering, and he has a really sick remix of Nicky Romero and Avicii's track something. I, I don't remember what it's called, but anyway, yeah, it's good. And uh, yeah, check him out. He's mixing and mastering my EP right now. Uh, that should awesome. be on sale sometime in like May. I, I still got to ask the people I sampled from, which <laughs> are really big people, which was sort of stupid. But I mean, not big to the point where they'd be like, "Ugh, no, douchebag," because I think I think they'd be nice enough because that's how they started off sampling people. So wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I have a question. So um, you have this thing getting mixed and mastered, right? Yeah. So, what if one of them says no or just doesn't respond? I give it out for free. They're not going to like that, man. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Because they'll never know who I am anyways. True. I won't be making any money off of it. They won't be. No, I mean, money. I don't mean them, but your, uh, whoever your uh, label record company is with. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. I haven't signed the contract yet because I still need to make a new one because I don't like their terms. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, their times are crap. Well, don't say that. What if they're listening? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm well, just they, kidding. they are our friends, so it's not a big deal. But, uh, yeah, I don't... The contract says that I don't have any rights to my songs. <laughs> I made the freaking songs. I better have rights to them. Yeah. So, that's what I'm going to change. I'm going to go to a lawyer and ask him and... They, they told me not to go to a lawyer, but I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Just be like, oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, Here's my songs. Yeah, have them forever until I die. And then I can tell my kids that I was the worst businessman in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. So anyways, the people I sampled. Okay, it's a list of it's like five people, I think. I don't, maybe four. <sighs> I sampled Justice. But literally, I don't think I need to ask them because it's a, it's a micro sample. It's like a fraction of a second. So, like, it would be unrecognizable. Anyways, then I sampled digitalism. Uh, yeah, I think you should still ask them. Because what if they go like, oh my gosh, this guy didn't ask me. This well, is little fraction of a second. I'm going to sell sue him a million dollars. Yeah, I'll still ask. I gotta ask. Uh, um, I sampled digitalism. Uh... From their song, Yes, I Don't Want This, I think it is. And uh, it's like a tiny little part in the middle of the song, and I just looped it uh, to have uh, like a background ambient sort of noise going on. And uh, then I sampled Chelonis R. Jones, who is like pretty unknown or not well known at all. I sampled his vocals on this one track. Uh, and I sampled DJ Hell. I'm already in contact with DJ Hell, which is pretty cool. I'll send him the, the version, and hopefully he likes it. Um, yeah. That's it. Sounds awesome. Yep. And, uh, should be out soon. Oh, and I'm gonna ask a bunch of people to remix the song Complacency. And, uh, oh yeah, Jake's gonna remix that. <laughs> Yeah, man, but if he doesn't, if he uses loops, I'm not publishing Oops. it. Oops. Yep. I'm so tempted to just blow his cover up. Oh, yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, that stuff pisses me off. Anyways. Um, also, oh, yeah, so. What was I saying? Uh, something about Jake sampling loops. No, well, the remixes. Yeah, I'm going to ask a bunch of. Um, producers that i like on soundcloud to remix a track and then i'll have a remix album out that should be cool uh i'm gonna ask a bunch so hopefully a good amount of people will say yes yeah. that sounds cool yep and then that's basically it sweet that's what we're uh, working on I was gonna say something, but you know, it's one of those things that disappears from your brain and you can't remember. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Oh yeah, and also uh, during the past five weeks we've been inactive. I also got glasses. Oh nice! I've already had glasses. <laughs> yes, Jonathan, you look completely weird without glasses. I know. I look like a turd. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Anyways, now on to video games. Ah, well, this is sort of old news by now, but everybody knows Lucasfilm is dead. They're all dead. Dead. I don't even know what that was. But anyways, that's that's that. Uh, then Dishonored is getting DLC. The Knife of Dunwall. Nobody cares about that. Really? I don't know. Nobody even plays Dishonored anymore. Call of Duty really? Black Ops 2 is getting DLC called uh, Uprising. and Nobody gives... Okay, that's not true. Nobody cares about Call of Duty, so... <laughs> Nobody, man. No one at all. <laughs> oh, oh, back to... Sp- for the win. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, dude, I was, I was being... I was no, being I didn't even hear what you I, said. You didn't hear what I said? No. And that for the win... <laughs> Okay, never mind. I was just being a typical Battlefield fan. But you're not a Battlefield fan. I know. I was. Shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Just go <laughs> die. Anyways, Bethesda is coming out with a new game. Uh, 
Nobody knows what it is, but everybody's expecting Fallout 4. It's not. They said it wasn't. Well, everybody's expecting Fallout 4. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, and then there was... This is also old news. It has to do with Lucasfilm. Uh, arts. Sorry, Lucas Arts. Um, there the was, name? like, apparently Battlefield... Or, bleh, Battlefront 3. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, it's a Battlefront. Battlefront 3, that's right. Battlefront 3 leaked footage, and uh, it was awesome. <sighs> yeah, that was first person, though, wasn't it? Yeah, so... I thought Battlefront was always third person. Yeah, but so. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, it looked awesome. It looked like it was pretty close to final stages too. Like frick, I would have played the heck out of that game. Uh, yeah. Whatever. And uh, well, THQ's remaining IPs have been auctioned off for seven million dollar. Darksiders yes. and Homeworld. They found homes. Yeah. No world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And 343, they've released details on the tweaks they're going to make to Halo 4. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> the weapon I, update. They're going to nerf the DMR finally. That is, like, one of the worst games. What? I mean, no. What? No. One of the worst weapons. Gosh. Man, my <laughs> brain. It's like... <laughs> I think they nerfed your brain. Oh! <laughs> yeah, but the DMR is one of the worst weapons in any video game, in my opinion. True story, so bro. So overpowered, it completely breaks weapon control on the map, or map control. What is it? Map control. It breaks everything. Yeah, it does. So with them nerfing it, hopefully it'll make the game a little bit more uh, fair to people who don't like the DMR, like me. Yep. Now, some quick news. Bethesda revealed the Evil Within trailer, and... Uh... Years of War Judgment, Call to Arms DLCs coming out. FIFA 14, that's like the biggest news of the day. <laughs> uh, they got screenshots. Do people actually care about FIFA? Yeah, my Eli cares about FIFA. Oh, he does, but I mean, do like... <laughs> yeah, dude, a lot of people care about FIFA. It's more like a European sort of demographic, I'm pretty sure. But uh, now Skyrim Legendary Edition is arriving this summer. No case. more Skyrim DLC, by the way. Yeah, there's no more Skyrim DLC because that, of the other so Bethesda depressing. things we've been speaking about. Yeah, that's, that's pretty depressing. I couldn't care less. But yeah. Oh, 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 oh. This is probably the two coolest stories. There's a new Batman Arkham game. Unfortunately, it's not being produced by Naughty Dog. Is it being produced from? I don't. No, but it doesn't matter because it's not being produced by Naughty Dog. So it's wait, wait, wait. It never was produced by Naughty Dog. I just had a brain fart. Rock <laughs> steady. I meant rock steady. I just it, my brain was like, what? What the? Maybe frick they are you? nerfed your brain too. Yeah, everybody's brains are nerfed. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's not being produced by Rock Steady, not Naughty Dog. That's right. It is actually. I was right. I didn't lie. It's not being produced by Naughty Dog, but it's also not being produced by Rock Steady, the people who made the past two uh, Arkham games. So I don't Naughty know who's Dog being. Naughty Dog made Spyro, didn't they? Huh? Naughty Dog made Spyro, didn't they? Not Naughty Dog. I don't. No, maybe they did. I actually, that sounds like, that sounds right. But they also made Uncharted, so. Uh, and I think they're making The Last of Us. Anyways, so yeah, new Batman game. It's Arkham Origins. It's going to be super fun. And they have Slade, or Deathstroke, whatever you want to call him. It's the same guy. I don't give a crap what anyone says. From Teen Titans, the bad guy with the half black, half orange mask. Mm, don't remember him. Are you kidding? You didn't watch Teen Titans? Oh, dude, I know I did, but I don't remember that guy. Okay, yeah, I know what you mean. I hate it when, like, people will... Oh, yeah, this is one of my pet peeves for myself. Is that people will quote my favorite movies ever in the entire universe, and I don't get the quote. Oh. I hate it. And they're like, yeah, right, you didn't watch it. I'm like, yeah, I did. Like, I could watch a movie in the theater... Come out of the theater with my friends. They'll be quoting the movie. I'm like, I don't remember him saying that. <laughs> and then you re you watch it and you actually does say it. No, I, I didn't say that he didn't. I'm saying oh, yeah, I, I don't know. remember them saying that. They're like quoting the movie and then I don't remember the quotes. A lot of brain nerfs. Yeah, well, that's a constant one for me. I hate it. Like, one time, I know you're not going to get this quote because 
you just don't watch a ton of classic movies. But anyways, there's this one time my friend was quoting a movie and he was like, McFly! And I was like, crap, crap, I know what that's from. I know what it's from. And, they're like, and then they were like, uh, I forgot the number, but something, something, gigawatts. And I was like, oh crap, I know what that's from. And they're like, dude, you idiot. Hello. They said that? Well, they're my friends. They can if they want. I call you an idiot. Idiot. Yeah, yeah, I know, but still. Oh, no, they didn't call me an idiot. But anyways, they're like, dude, it's back to the future. And I'm like, ah! I knew that! I knew that! It was, it was, it was sad. Those, oh, wow. Those were dark times. But anyways. You know, I watched that movie again. I didn't really like it. Well, you're an idiot. Anyways. It's too cheesy to That me. proves two points. Uh, okay, next news. Uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool? It looks yeah. awesome. It's like the best DLC for the best game of 2012. That's, that's it. End of story. And I don't, I don't care what you think. Far Cry 3 was the best game of 2012. When, it comes, came when it comes to console games. Halo 4 was not better than Far Cry 3. And I'm a Halo noob. Like, I've loved Halo all 10, 11 years it's been out. But Far Cry 3 was better than Halo 4. Uh, yeah, I guess. It had a better campaign. Much better. Yeah, and you can do a ton of stuff in the campaign. Halo 4 was unbelievably linear. Unbelievably repetitive. It was just terrible. I mean, yeah, the campaign was pretty yeah, the boring. Campaign. The mul- but it had a good multiplayer. Yeah, it did. But in the end, the multiplayer became very repetitive, and Far Cry 3's free did play. It for me. Huh? Did it for me. Well, for me. I'm talking. For you. For, I'm, I can only speak for myself. Yes, so, you can. So, yeah. Uh, but for Far, Far Cry 3, I could keep going after I beat the story and do a bunch of random other stuff and it was great. Still is great. I still play it. I don't know. I couldn't I couldn't get into Far Cry. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's I just know. I couldn't get into it because I don't know. I was kind of got kind of got tired of just first person shooters in general except for Halo just cuz it's Halo. But other first person shooters every time I play another first person shooter, I just get bored of it. Yeah, that's Even though I... Far Cry 3 is different. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Far Cry 3 is completely different from every other FPS. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I just couldn't get past it. I just want to play something that's not a first-person shooter now, except for Halo. There's no exception. Yeah. And, uh, this, the last story for video games is pretty stupid. Uh, a new Pokemon X and Y creature has been confirmed not as Mew 3, but as Mewtwo's evolution form. This is Pokemon. You said something about Pokemon. Yeah, and I'm a Pokemon fan. Well, I was a Pokemon fan, but this is stupid. First of all, Mewtwo isn't a Pokemon, so he can't freaking evolve evolve into another Pokemon. It, True. And the way they made him look is so stupid. He's like a freaking can opener. <laughs> Or bottle opener, I mean. Uh, it's He looks... He looks... He, uh, uh, Mewtwo looks so cool. This guy looks like a total fag. Uh. So Mewtwo evolves into he, something else. Yeah, which he never should have because Mewtwo is not a Pokemon. He's just um, in the Pokemon yes. universe. He's a creature in the Pokemon universe. But he's not a Pokemon, so he can't evolve like the Pokemon do. Pokemon nerd. Pokemon! But anyways, that's that for video games. Now time for the movies, bruh. Yes. Yeah, so Thor, the Dark World poster has been revealed. And uh, nobody cares. Well, nope. at least I don't because Thor sucked. I don't care what anyone says. Well, a lot of people liked it, but uh, I thought it was okay. Yeah, well, it wasn't. I can speak on behalf of every single person in the entire known universe. It's yes, sucks. you can. Okay, Oblivion is out, and I really want to see it. And if any of you douchebags comment any spoilers in the comments, well, now now you will because I said that. But uh, yeah, maybe don't because I want to see it. I'm just not gonna read the comments now. But anyways, <laughs> uh, 
It looks awesome. And it's by the guy who directed Tron Legacy, Joseph Kaczynski. And he also got M83 to do the score. And it sounds awesome. And he got Daft Punk last time. So, yeah. He's got a thing for sci-fi and electronic musicians. Awesome. Nice. He's like my favorite director for nowadays right now. Should have used Daft Punk again, but... Well, dude, they were making their album. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, The Man of Steel, trailer number three, was awesome! And it's oh, yeah. surprising. It surprised both Troy and I because we don't like Superman. And the fact that they made Superman look awesome is awesome. Yeah, true. I honestly thought the movie was going to blow pretty hard, but now it looks really good. Yeah, I mean, I never I, I never thought it was going to suck. I always knew the movie was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to look that good. Like, like... The, well, to be honest, my faith in its credibility as a good film had nothing to do with it being Superman. It was only the fact that it's directed by Zack Snyder, the guy who did 300, which is awesome, and Watchmen, which is awesome, and it's produced by Christopher Nolan. And every nice. movie, every movie Christopher Nolan touches is awesome. I don't give a crap what anyone says. So, Batman. Batman! <laughs> so that's gonna kill everyone's ears. So yeah, I'm super stoked. I'm pretty excited too. Yeah. I'm oh. actually uh, <laughs> being excited for a Superman movie. That's that's pretty out of ordinary. Speaking of that, Injustice came out and it was pretty good apparently. I don't care much Me about neither. it. But, I mean. Shut up. Kill that dog. <laughs> or I'll kill it. But for people who are 2D scroller or whatever 2D font. No, it's not 2D. What, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. Fighter games. Well, it is 2D. I mean, it's three-dimensional graphics, but it's a 2D game. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. 2D games. If you're a fan of that, you'll go pick it's, it up. It's a fighter game. That's what it's called. Yes. A, a fighter brawl, game. Like really a, fun fighter game. Yeah. I like Tekken and all, but... Dude, I mean, Tekken was my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Tekken. next, we got uh, some news that... They they might make a, a crow or the crow remake and the guy who plays Loki Tom Hiddleston who's a really good actor is in talks to star as the crow. But uh, oh, they're making a new crow movie. Well, it's uh, a remake, which is stupid. They don't need to remake that movie. It was made sure. in like what late eighties, early nineties. Why would you yeah. remake that? It's not even old. True. But, you know, uh, so it was a great movie, so... Now, if they made... Well, they can't really make a sequel. But, uh, yeah. Well, maybe an alternate universe sort of thing. But, yeah. Put Tom Hiddleston in, like, any role, and he'll be good at it. But, anyways. Now, we got some news that Joss Whedon is saying that awful things will happen in The Avengers 2. So, I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, Hulk can't turn green. Uh, what? What? Maybe uh, Thor loses all his muscles, <laughs> or uh, or the agent Agent Coulson comes back to life. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I like him. That's that. All right, nobody knows what he's talking about. So, oh my gosh! Speaking of remakes, this is terrible. <sighs> Apparently, they're gonna remake Weird Science, and that's like one of those. Uh, I wouldn't really want to call it a classic, but sort of is a classic 80s coming-of-age story. It's really stupid, and one of the kids, his voice drives me nuts. I, I wanted to kill him every time he had a freaking line in the movie. But, uh, yeah, the fact that they're remaking that pile of crap is stupid. <laughs> yeah. What, what is it called again? Weird science. And the only reason I watched it when I was younger is because uh, the girl... You were younger. The girl's, <laughs> the girl's really hot. So, oh, was she? Oh, uh, she is. Well, not now. She's terrible looking now. But back when the movie was made, she was unbelievably hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was it? Who was the... Uh, never mind. I don't care. But anyways. What? What's next? <laughs> They're making a 21 Jump Street sequel. Oh yeah, was that, I heard that movie was kind of good. I thought, I thought some of it was funny. Yeah. It yeah, was, some of it was funny, some of it wasn't, some of it. Some of it was sort of like 
it, it's pretty funny because the actors that they put in the movie are the same freaking actors that you see in every comedy ever nowadays. It's so dumb. They just recycle these bad actors from like Saturday Night Live and Mad TV all through these these comedy movies. And you just, ex it's, sometimes the jokes that they would have made in 21 Jump Street would be funny depending on who was in the role of the person doing that thing or what who made it. But the thing is, when you see these same actors doing the same gags over and over, you're just like, oh my gosh, come on. We're yeah, a new trick. Yeah. So, the fact that they're making a 21 Jump Street sequel is sort of annoying because, to be honest, I liked 21 Jump Street. Me and my brother watched it on the airplane once, and it was it was funny. Like, for the first time. I would never watch it again, I don't think, unless I was like... Wait, they actually played that on the airplane? Oh, uh, yeah, we had to buy it. But I had money, so I was bored. Oh, oh! it wasn't one of those things where they play it. No, they don't really do that anymore. You can purchase your own movies in front of the screen, or right in the screen in front of you now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, it's... You can even get this package where you can, like... You pay... You give a down payment, and then you could watch everything on there. Like, you can oh, pay for nice. everything. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, that'd be good for an eight-hour trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I went from Hawaii to Taiwan. Oh, no, 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 not Hawaii. I went from California to Thailand. Yeah, California to Thailand. And that was a really, really long trip, and all I did was watch movies. It was great. It was so good. I love watching movies. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. I, I think I first... It's the crappy movies, like the... I forgot the name of it already. That's how bad it was. What is it? Like, it's Shep and I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> Something on Netflix I was watching earlier today. was crap. You don't remember what it was called? Nope. Oh, it's like something like the, uh, Shep and Der? Shep and I don't know, man. But sometimes on Netflix they'll have, like, third-party rip-offs of big blockbuster movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't they have, like, uh, Transformers or something? Transmorphers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to search that up. I actually watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what if we did like a commentary sort of thing on it? Like, <laughs> we should. A Mystery Science Theater 3000 thing and made it a video. Oh, you're partnered, so we could totally do that. Dude, yes. Oh, man, that'd be awesome. Anyways. <laughs> uh, there's not really much else um, to talk about, except... Oh, oh, yeah, there's two, there's, there's actually two things. Like, the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie, which is, like, sort of like, um, well, the best way to explain it for someone who doesn't know what it is, is basically like the Avengers, but for outer space, like, a different group, like, for aliens. It sounds awesome. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, like, depending on how, how you think of it, it can sound really stupid, but it's really cool. And it's, yeah. Yeah, and it's apparently going to take place in an alternate future, the movie. So, yeah, that's that. Marvel's going to be producing it. Oh, yeah. You know what's really cool about uh, that? Well, cool for Disney and fans of these two franchises is that Avengers 2 and Star Wars Episode 7 come out the same summer. That is some massive stuff there. Dude, do you know how much money Disney is going to make? Too much. Exactly, too much. They are going to milk us dry. Star Wars Episode 7 and the Avengers 2. Oh, oh. I, I honestly can't wait. Because I really liked the Avengers, uh, the Avengers for like just fun care like you don't really need to think that deeply about it who cares what happens as long as there's explosions and superheroes and it gave you that very well yeah it did that very very well it's not movie of the year sort of stuff but definitely like uh having a fun time at the movie awards i i'd say that would definitely win it's pretty it's pretty close to movie of the year in my opinion but uh, i mean you obviously did good. not watch a lot of movies in 2012 no i didn't really watch that many movies yeah because there's a lot better ones than the Avengers. I hate all the fanboys, though. 
Yeah, the fanboys are really annoying. The kind of like, there's nothing better than the, than the Avengers. Oh my gosh, yeah, somebody was just making a spoof video of it, and it got a bunch of dislikes for that. It's too bad. Yeah, Avenger fanboys are dumb. We should go watch it, and then like it. <laughs> we'll post the link to that video, so that all y'all can go like it. Compensate for the amount of douchebags disliking that video. So, uh, now we got, there. there's new Wolverine uh, high resolution images. Nice. Uh, yeah, out on the internet. You can look those up. <coughs> I don't really care, though. It's just... uh, the movie, in my opinion, looks pretty crappy. Yeah, it's not going to be good. And yeah, his... it looks, like, cheaper than the first one. And yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Pointless like... to have. That's what sequels always are, almost. Well, not always. But... Not always, but a lot of times when I always see the sequel, like, you know, the new Hunger Games movie. My gosh. <laughs> it looks so bad. Yeah. Dude, you know what? I I feel so dumb for missing this, but I just watched Dread the other day, and it was freaking awesome. Yeah, I heard it was really good. I want to see it. Yeah, it was it was like awesome, awesome. They had they had electronic music in it like the whole time. Nice. Yeah, and freaking the guy who plays Dread apparently was a fan of the comics like his entire life, and then he gets to play Dread. That's so cool. And he nice. did an awesome job. He was way better than Sylvester Stallone. I don't care what anyone says. And yeah, I was a fan of uh, Judge Dredd. Like how, like, I mean, it's freaking Sylvester Stallone. Like, how can you not like him back in the day? Now, his stuff nowadays is crap. But, yeah, Expendables. Uh, so dumb. But uh, yeah, stuff like Rambo, Judge Dredd, all that stuff. So much fun. And uh, yeah, I, and I still like the new guy. I forgot his name. But he's the guy, he's in Star Trek, he's in Lord of the Rings, he's in a bunch of movies. But yeah, so it was really cool for him, and the girl wasn't annoying, she was the sidekick, and she was actually cool, like she actually did stuff, she wasn't just hot to be hot. Like or just annoying? Yeah, she wasn't like freaking Megan Fox for sandwiches. <laughs> oh, yeah, sandwiches, <laughs> and out to Jeremy Jones. Yeah. Yeah, uh, she, she wasn't or like that, that at all. That one girl in Transformers 3. Yeah, screw her. But Frick, like... She's hot, though. Yeah, uh, sort of. But, uh, the girl... No, you, no, you used to say she was one of the hottest girls. People change, Troy! Shut up! <laughs> you lie. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't think she's pretty anymore. But anyways, um, yeah, this girl is super cool. And, uh... Oh, I know... I remember who she is. She's the freaking friend... Of Juno. In Juno. She's her friend. Who's like... You never saw Juno. Uh, I might have. Mm. Well, you should. It's, it's pretty good. Is it like a guy with a black hat? Mm, no. Okay, is there a horse in it? No. Um, nope, no. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah. So, Dread was awesome. And they played Vitalik. That guy is so cool. He's like... He's like part of that whole French electronic music scene and stuff. And the song they played was so cool. The action was awesome. The, oh, yeah! And another thing that, that sold me on the movie was Gavin from Rooster Teeth. The really funny British dude. He did all the slow motion scenes in the movie. In what movie? Dread. He did that? Yeah, because, you know, have you ever seen Slow Mo Guys on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. No. He runs... No, he Oh, okay. Well, he runs the Slow Mo Guys channel, and he uses high-speed cameras to record all that stuff, and he just does it for fun on there. And he, right. he's worked on, like, uh, what is it? Sherlock Holmes 2, or just the Sherlock Holmes movies for all the slow motion fighting scenes and a bunch of other movies. And so, yeah, he did all the stuff in Dread. Which was it makes the movie even cooler for me because I'm a fan of Rooster Teeth. So. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I, I like Rooster Teeth too. Yep, they're the bomb. Yes. That's uh, basically it for movies, I guess. What else is there? Music. Yep. Did we already talk about music. Music. No, we didn't. Death Bar. Gosh, dude, get lucky. It's out. And 
It is awesome. It's it too short because it's a radio edit, which makes sense, but it's out and we can hear it. Oh my gosh. Dude, if you, just pause for a second. Now listen to this. There is a new song out by Daft Punk. Now just soak it in. <laughs> My it's God. so good too, and it's not like a uh, crap. It's not dubstep. It's not dubstep. <laughs> yeah, there's like for all the people, well, for the three people listening. There, me and Troy and his brother and my brother were all making this joke about what if freaking Daft Punk made dubstep on their next album. And we knew they wouldn't, but it was just, I mean, the thought crosses your mind and then you just like cringe. You're just like, oh, oh gosh, no. There's still a whole other, whole full album to make sure there's no dubstep in it though. Yeah, but I guarantee you they won't. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, no! <laughs> yeah so anyways we're over the half hour mark which is fine i guess because your partner now it doesn't really matter but mm -hmm. we might as well that's basically all that's happening in music yeah, although so actually in music at least i want to shout out to some of the other artists that i really like there's like uh this dude named floria uh, i have a link to his band camp you can buy his album or by his EP, it's super good. Like, it's, like, French. Well, he's Australian, but it's sort of sound like French, electro, and house. It's so oh, yeah. good. And then there's this all, There's also this kid. He's, like, 16 years old. His name is Jay's Ways, and he made this super good EP. It's, like, awesome. It's, like, more, like, happy, bleep, bloopy sounding sort of electronica. It's really good. Oh, yeah. Did we, did we bring up Phoenix's album? Oh, yeah, and Phoenix's new album is really cool. It's, uh, yeah, it's cool, but nowhere near as good as Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix. So we say we're actually going to make a review about it. Yeah, we're going to make a review. 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 Uh, our last review did not get, uh, was not, you know, so favorited by the YouTubers out there, but. No, the majority liked it. There was, like, it was more than the dislikes. True, Every video you get is going to get dislikes if it's true. about a topic that people are talking about. Yeah, it's true. But still, we had a lot of dislikes. That's because that's those butthurt fans but, were like up there. But we had more likes, so. Yeah, true. What he says is true. And also got me a lot of views, so. <laughs> yeah, it got him a lot of views, so that's good. And then, uh, yeah, you know what I'm thinking? We should review those artists that I just spoke about. Get you more views. It'll get them more views. Yeah, and it gives us something else to put out. Yeah, that's it's fun. Maybe we could put that on my channel because I don't have any videos. Yeah, you can. All right. Sounds good. All right. Now, yeah. did you think of a story? Uh, no, I wasn't thinking about that the whole time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> crud. <laughs> what were things that happened? We already talked about curtains. Curtains, we yeah. Talked that was about the great tree the great tree dude i don't think we talked about kate i know we mentioned her but yeah we probably mentioned her but to actually describe the whole story would be hilarious yeah we never did let's do it yes okay okay yeah. i'll start it off okay mm. so okay. it all started out in wahiwa hawaii through the interwebs two fates collide and travel with destiny until something really crappy happens and everything explodes. But, <laughs> so this is what happens. Troy, or, well, you know how you guys met. Yeah, Jake was uh, playing Xbox, actually, and he sent her a message. And I was like, hey, I'm going to send this cool message, too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so, wait, who met her, who talked to her first? Uh, well, Jake just sent her a friend request for something. Okay, so Jake sends Kate a message. Through the Xbox. And he's like, hey, want to be my friend? He's like, oh. And she's like, yeah, okay, whatever. It sounds good, yeah. And then uh, later on, Troy becomes a little jelly. And then... No, that's not, yeah, that's not how it happened at all. Then explain it! Okay. So, Jake just sends her a message. And then, and no, he sends her a friend request. I send her a friend request, too. And Jake and her never play at all. So, I don't know. I start playing. And then... Talk closer to your mic. Do I have to, do you want me to re-explain it? Yeah. 
Okay, Jake sends her a friend request. I sent her a friend request, too. I don't know why. I just did. And then Jake and her never played, so we started playing. And, uh, yeah, then chemistry built up from there. (laughs) (laughs) And we're just like, oh, hey, uh, what's your phone number? I'm like, I'm going to use my brother's phone. So I said, you see his phone. And, yeah, we had, like, a long conversation. We got into a stupid relationship, and... I broke my arm over her. Oh, yeah. We got to explain that. So, Troy thought he was being all B.A. And was like, hey, what are your interests? And she's like, oh, yeah, like skateboarding. And he's like, skateboarding. Okay, uh, got to go out and get me a skateboard. Okay. Uh, yeah, I-, I like skateboarding, too. Okay, now I got to learn. Okay. Uh, and then he goes out. He goes outside. And I'm not with him at, at this point. Like, we were next door neighbors, so we'd always hang out. But I wasn't there. Him and Jake. Go outside, Troy totally eats it and biffs his elbow on the side of the curb, totally shatters his elbow and like literally breaks his tendon, goes to the hospital, later on finds out that he can never again extend his arm out completely. And now it it's for no reason because later on, me, Jake, and Troy are sitting on the couch one night playing the Xbox. And then, uh, I don't remember the conversation that led up to the joke. Just don't say the joke, Troy. Just talk about what happened leading up to it. Oh, okay. Uh, I was like, uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to remember, sorry. And I was thinking, oh yeah, okay, we're all sitting on the couch and... Close your mic. For my slowness. We're all sitting on the couch. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, we're all sitting on the couch, and I'm just like, dude, I don't really know about this Kate girl anymore, man. It's like, she's kind of crazy, man. She's, uh, you know, she's kind of a rebel. You know, rebels are people, are idiot teenagers who go out and just vandalize a bunch of crap for no reason. Yeah. Or because they're mad, whatever, they're stupid. Yeah. And she's also bisexual, but I mean, I, mean that kind of, I guess that doesn't make you crazy, but I mean, maybe. Um... <laughs> And then I was like, and dude, she won't even talk to me through phone or any sort of voice messages for some reason. She says she's too afraid to. And then I was like, and then I I was sitting on the couch looking at the TV. We were playing custom games on Halo 3 or Halo Reach. And I was like, whoa, I had an epiphany. I was like, my gosh, dude, I know what this is. I know what's happening. They're like, what? I'm like. Dude, Kate's a Nate! And they're like, ah! And I'm like, ah! And they're like, ah! Dude. So. That's it. (laughs) Man, I I mean, I don't know how many of you guys will necessarily find that funny, but if you put yourself in that situation, it was one of the most hilarious things ever. It was. It, it was. It was really funny. Yeah, it was terrible, too. Uh, they never spoke again. Although, I'm, I'm sure Jake did. I'm sure Jake did. I will... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny how uh, he is able to annoy both you, I, and Pivot Kid at the same time. I mean, we're not the only ones, Jonathan. Yeah, he's just great at pissing people off. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's still like a brother, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course Well, he so. is your brother. <laughs> but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was, oh, yeah, I don't think I ever told the thing uh, about Jake and this one person on Minecraft. I told you, Jonathan, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was talking to this one person on Minecraft when we used to be admin of a server, mm-hmm. and um, uh, this person was, like, I guess, a girl, right? So... They started talking a lot, and Crab Jake added her on Skype, and I was telling Jake, dude, this is a bad idea. You need to, like, leave this person alone and stuff. I mean, she's, like, kind of creepy to me, and, like, she turns out to be, like, a Satanist or something. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so he's still talking to her. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like, like, you're dumb. So he's still talking to her, and uh, I'm like, dude, this is a really bad idea. You really... Um, you really need to drop this person. She's crazy. And, uh, yeah, she was telling me some horror stories on Minecraft before. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Um, 
So he has her own Xbox now. It's like, hey, I'm going to play uh, Call of Duty with this person. Uh, and they're playing COD. And uh, I guess she doesn't really have a mic on. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they were uh, playing. And uh, apparently she did have a mic on because at the end of the match, she did really bad. And with her manly voice, she yelled, oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh my god. It was a dick. Oh my god. This has happened twice to Jake. It was a dick. Jake has gotten into a relationship with a guy twice. <laughs> <laughs> I, you never told me that. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Oh man. <laughs> You had two two stories with John and Troy today. What a deal! And both involved Jake being in a relationship with a guy. Oh, yeah, no, dude. The first one, Kate was an eight. Right, whatever. Anyways, that so anyways, it kills the joke. So uh, now, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this earlier. But I guess we're gonna wrap up, right? No, really. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So uh, after we're done talking, I'm gonna play preview or i'm gonna play my ep a little yep. yeah so if you guys have listened this long and actually care well first of all thank you and also you're gonna get a treat from mob spawn uh yep that's basically it want to say anything else troy um i was thinking of something but no you tend to do that a lot yeah i always like I'm about to say something that I forget. Anyways, let's end it. Okay. Oh, three, two, one. Pingus. <laughs>